Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a LEGO Batman and DC reveal video. We definitely haven't seen these before. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to talk about that at the end if you're interested. But uh, the three sets uh, that I'm being sarcastic and joking about, I have already looked at the other three in the form of a review. Uh, that's right, I've actually done reviews for three of the sets already, so every time that it pops up on screen, if you want to check out the subsequent review, a little tag will pop up on screen if you want to go check those out, but and there's of course chapters to hop around if you want to go check out the only set here, but I am going to talk about what happened at the end of the video if you're interested in that, but let's go ahead, let's get started. Set number 76. 270. This is the Batman mech armor. This is going to be retailing for $14.99 USD and has 140 pieces. It's a pretty cool mech. I love the look of this. I think that it just feels like an actual piece of armor that Batman is using, like a vehicle. It's not like some of the other mechs that we've gotten where it's like an extension to that character. No, this is actually something he's wearing to get around. You could see on the back that there's a jetpack and wings and different things. I think that's fun. I love the Batarang in the one hand. That looks cool. The other hand has a stud shooter. But the absolute worst part of the set that I do not understand why they chose this is is that Batman figure. The fact that that's the exact same one that we've been getting since 2012 for that torso is insane to me. Just give us something new there, please. I don't get that. This was our chance to get a cool outfit for Batman here. Like a lot of the other Marvel mechs get, they get something new and exclusive and exciting. That didn't happen here. That is so disappointing. I do like the new cowl though. I, I'm, I am a fan of uh, these newer styles. But let's move on to the next set. We've got set number 76272. This is the Batcave with Batman, Batgirl, and the Joker. Interesting name. This set should be retailing for $34.99 USD and has 184 pieces. Of course, this is an 18 plus set. So, you know, don't get too upset with this, I'd say. But I think that there's a lot of stuff going on here that's actually quite interesting. Uh, I am surprised that Batman here is not using the new cape, uh, which we'll get to. But I think that, again, uh, the fact that this figure is here is so annoying. But we do have a brand new Batgirl figure. It definitely looks similar to that last one, but obviously that bat symbol there on the front of the torso is different. It has the actual black bat symbol and the yellow around that. The face looks to be the exact same one as the ones that we've gotten before. The Joker is the exact same one that we got from last year. The actual set, you do have a small bat wing, which is neat. I'm not sure if a 4 Plus set has ever had that before. Also, on the bat wing, there was these 2x2 two two dishes. Those are the same ones that appeared on the Batman mech armor that you just saw. I actually really like the little cell that you've got on the side there. And you can, I think, store the bat wing there on top. And then the actual bat computer there, that's interesting. It's got a barrel for the Batarang. But also, I really like this computer screen. I love whenever we get something printed like that. It looks great. It looks like a lot of fun with the Joker breaking into the Batcave. You've got a little bit of Gotham there with the Batwing and all that. The symbol up above, that's a really interesting tile. That's the one from the Keaton buildable figure from last year. And then you've got a little disc launcher there with the same... Batman symbols there so you've got four of them in the set five of them across the wave which is really interesting the Joker mobile eh nothing too exciting but I do think that it's interesting that he's broken into the Batcave here to get a kryptonite piece that's interesting given the fact that Superman hasn't appeared in a set since the minifigure series which wasn't even a real set but it's four plus like, I, I really wasn't expecting too much for this. I know, obviously, I would have loved for this to be a Batman the Animated Series set, but uh, unfortunately, that is not the case. Next up here, we've got set number 76273. This is the Batman construction figure and the Batpod bike. This is going to be retailing for $64.99 USD and has 713 pieces. This is, a uh, you know, I, I'm against buildable figures for sure like I, i'm really tired of them except for when they're needed like we just saw yesterday with the marvel stuff i think that's great but with this I, I, it's not the worst and i hate that and i think that a large part of that is my personal bias i'm gonna be able to say that for batman i really think that is a part of that i think the cape is really interesting and just some of the detailing here that they did for that face it is a brand new face that they created there for him it's a different expression than keaton 
And the bat pod is just really exciting to be getting at this scale. Normally, I'm not someone who's like, oh, man, I love large scale stuff like this, technic builds and different things. It's not quite technic, but there is a lot of technic pieces in this. But I love this because of the fact that there was that gift with purchase sort of promo that they ran that you could redeem a bunch of Lego VIP points back in the day to get this super rare set. And to have one here at a similar scale, I think it's a lot larger, is still very exciting. And I think that's going to interest a ton of people for sure. And I think that we obviously need a minifigure scale version of this. But last set here that we've got is set number 76274. This is, all right, deep breath, Batman with the Batmobile versus Harley Quinn and Mr. Freeze. It's going to be retailing for $59.99 USD and has 435 pieces and... It's a really cool set. Obviously, to be getting a Batman the Animated Series set is something that I never dreamed we'd be seeing for such a smaller set here. I think that, obviously, let's talk about the actual Batmobile. It's dark blue, and there are a lot of images and other toys out there that have had this be dark blue, but there is specifically clips and moments from the show where they refer to this Batmobile as being black. That's right, Alfred. The Batcave. It's a big hole in the ground with a big car in it that's all black. Remember? Cannot argue against that. I saw so many people saying that before. It's just obviously, you know, lighting and different things like that or different people animating it at different times. All that it can be attributed to that. But does it look cool against all the other black Batmobiles that we've gotten? Obviously, yes. I think that that is really cool. And I'm going to be doing a video actually transforming it into black. So stay tuned for that happening very, very soon. There is a stand like a couple of the other Batmobiles that we've gotten before, as well as you are able to actually remove the stud shooters, which I think is a really important thing for people who just want to display this set. Of course, we've got Batman. Same uh, figure when it comes to the cowl, the face, the torso and the legs from the big Gotham City set, but he has a new cape. And I think that looks really cool. I love the idea of this rubber cape for this instance. Again, I talked about this yesterday with the Marvel stuff. I think that doing rubber capes is an interesting take here. I'm at least interested in something new. Do I miss cloth pieces? Of course, we still have that option for a lot of these characters that they're doing it for, so I don't really mind that. Uh, Harley Quinn, exact same figure that appeared in that other set. Of course, we do have her hammer here, which wasn't in there. And lastly, we do have here Mr. Freeze, who looks really cool when it comes to the printing and everything there. I don't mind the stud shooter being used. I like the fact that they created a new dome piece for him. It just needs a bit of bulk. I don't know if it's necessarily supposed to be at the neck or just the shoulders and all that. There's just something missing when it comes to this figure for me personally. And I think that it has to do with the height and just the bulkiness of that armor. I want to talk about what happened. And basically, Lego gave me the embargo date, of course, for the reviews, like every other set that I'm sent. And it was April 25th. They did not communicate that the date had changed to anyone. And that meant that myself and other people's reviews went live on the 25th when the reveal wasn't until today, May 2nd. So what happened? Well, they asked me to take down the videos and I personally have no problem doing that when it comes to something like that or other times that they send me pictures because they are providing me this in this case with physical sets to review. They're giving them to me early. Sometimes they'll give me pictures early. If they make a mistake like this, I don't mind taking it down. It's super super frustrating and the engagement and just the trajectory of these videos the last two times have just been doing super super well and then they just come to a screeching halt when i'm told to take them down which really really sucks but I i'm happy of course to be talking about this here telling you guys about it now and again reminding you please go check out the reviews if you want to all three of them are going to be linked here at the end of the video if you want to go check those out. And of course, we will be reviewing the Batcave when I'm able to get my hands on that. I wasn't sent that early, but I'm going to find a way to get that to me as soon as possible. I'm not waiting until August to review it here on the channel. So at the end here, I'm going to link a playlist of all of the Batman sets that we looked at here already, as well as I'll put on screen a video talking about some rumors and leaks for other sets. So be sure to subscribe and turn the bell notification so you don't miss out on reviews for that the bat cave and reveals for those other ones and there's still a lot to talk about here and other superheroes news of course but i hope you guys did enjoy the video hope you all have a great day we'll see you all in the next one